ignorance breeds monsters to fill up the vacancies of the soul that are unoccupied by the verities of knowledge. Greetings, my name is Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to Receiver 2. Last time, we reached the awake stage. We're on the, the cusp of enlightenment, I suppose? Awakening into reality A. And we also got the cult single action army. The Peacemaker Revolver is an enduring icon of the Wild West and a good test of modern shooters reloading skills. Never a good sign. To reload the SAA, the hammer must be in the half cock position. This unlocks the cylinder so you can rotate it manually. Yep, you have to root, you know, when reloading, you gotta cook out the cartridges and put new ones in one by one. And there's no going back either, not unless you're only partially, not unless, not unless it's still in the process of, of rotating. Alright. Elizabeth Colt, widow and heir to Samuel Colt, had been waiting years for Smith & Wesson's patent on cartridge revolvers to expire. When it ran out in 1869, she immediately put her best engineers on it, resulting in the Colt Single Action Army Peacemaker Revolver. It was extremely accurate, powerful, affordable, and reliable, making it an instant success. It is considered to be one of the best revolver designs of all time, and remains a bestseller to this day. Not to mention, it's fucking iconic. I mean, you get other revolvers like this and all that, which are pretty, pretty recognizable, but this, this is what you think of when you think revolver. To reload the Peacemaker revolver, you must first pull the hammer to the half cock position by tapping the hammer key. You can then open the loading gate and eject spent cartridges one at a time. Alright, yeah. Then load the chambers one at a time. To safely alter the weapon, you must make sure that the hammer is down over an empty chamber. Not actually true. That is one way uh, to avoid it, because, like, like un uh, just uncocking the hammer isn't uh, entirely safe, because this weapon doesn't have a drop safety. So falling uh, falling a dist uh, ways can potentially cause, it to uh, cause you to shoot yourself in the leg. Which is not exactly when you want to be shooting yourself in the leg when you've just taken a bunch of falling damage. Not that there's ever a time when you'd want to be shooting yourself in the leg, or anywhere, really. Uh, but you can actually avoid this by, by well, keeping it half cocked. So that the cylinder is... Because, yeah, it'll, it functions as a makeshift safety. Because the cylinder has to be... You know, the, the receiver has to be sort of frozen for the... Cylinder to be able to rotate freely. The receiver, of course, being the actual firing part of the gun. Hence the name of this game. So yeah. If you need to reload on the fly really quick... <laughs> Don't need to, uh, don't ever put yourself in a position where you need to refly, uh, re, 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 to reload on the fly really quick with this gun. Just don't. Ever. Oh. A thousand angels. I did it. I found her voice message. I had almost given up on finding my apartment, on finding her voice on the answering machine, but receiver, my receiver training pulled me through on the, in the end. It was only yesterday, if that term means anything anymore, that I was ready to end it. The timeless aspect of this world was wearing me down. Even a mountain will erode over time, so the idea that time doesn't progress here got through my defenses. I just couldn't live with the idea that I could be trapped here forever. The threat could be, it can be devious like that. But this is why receivers train themselves. My mind tech worked. I specifically trained myself to recognize the signs, and it stopped me from committing that final destructive act. When the voice of the threat started getting too strong, I threw all my ammo off the building. I can always get more. And then, the next day, I found my old apartment. It was exactly like I remembered it. But that is the point, isn't it? Everything here is a reflection of our mind. A projection of our thoughts. So I knew Audrey's voice on the, would be on the answering machine, sounding sweeter than a thousand singing angels. 
I now realize that it's because I willed it to be. I am slowly awakening. Sadly, we don't have quite the same sort of control of our environment so these people do. I wonder why that would be the case. Curious, isn't it? Maybe jump there and jump there. I don't know if that would actually work, much less be safe in the slightest. Let's just go through this door before doing anything rash. Actually, no. Well, I can probably climb on there, and yeah, over there. And I can get up there. Well, again, if I do anything rash. Alright then. Oh. Now that's a voice that's sweeter than a thousand singing angels. The voice guiding me to enlightenment, to insight. This is the first insight. In order to fully awaken, all the other tapes were useless. Accepted, <laughs> which is random bullshit. This Until is the now, only insight. You thought you were playing a game, that you could turn it off. Of so this idea has been implanted by the threat. In fact, the threat has expanded to the reality outside of the game. We call this Reality C. The threat has been influencing what you see and hear until you can't tell what is fictional and, and what is real. This is the first of three insights. After you accept the third insight, you will hear a tone and you will awaken. Yup. We're going there. <laughs> Yep. The all and you thought this was a game. So. Although, unlike some things, I can almost believe it. Considering the genuine insights it has. So yeah. That's reality C. You might have wondered, have they mentioned? I'm fairly certain they've mentioned reality C already. Uh Yeah, so they reveal it, that the uh, ultimate sort of meta twist of this is that the threat that they're warning is, is actually the real thing in the real world, perhaps. And of course, they don't have any proof of this, just telling you that. But, as mentioned before, they're not just... they. They aren't just asking you to believe this on faith. Because what do they want you to do in response to this? They don't want you to do anything ridiculous, like a lot of things which will tell you that the, whole, the real world is actually just a fake. No. What they want you to do in response to this revelation is simply strengthen your mind in preparation to reach to fend off the threat and reach perhaps reach enlightenment. But as I mentioned before, the stuff they mentioned to strengthen your uh, that you do to strengthen your mind is that a lot of it is gen real genuine insight or just generally practical things. So it's a little thing. Like uh, as mentioned on one of the tapes that I'm not sure if I've actually shown you yet. You may or may not accept what they are telling you, but either way, your response should be the same. Oh, yes! Those were, uh, I mean, from, uh, ter that was terrible stealth. Basically walked right into those assholes, but god damn was that excellent shooting Just two quick shots while they were ru rushing me, huh? Let's take control of the ah yes the security camera 
The threat is taking control of the security apparatus, allowing them insight through security through existing security systems. Although they are not a direct hazard, security cameras can inform the threat of your location. These devices quietly scan their environments, looking for signs of activity. When they spot an intruder, they raise an alarm. We have learned that during the mine kill, the threat plans to use this information to send aerial drones to the receiver's location. Strategies and weaknesses. Security cameras attached to walls, so if you see a light coming from somewhere that a turret could not possibly be, it may be a camera. Yep. Now the security cameras aren't actually... As much of a hazard as you might expect. Uh, they're certainly dangerous because they can, you know, alert all like nearby drones to your location. But unlike security cameras in some games, like your like Bioshock or what have you, if I recall, they don't actually like create additional hazards. So this can, they can actually be they can actually sometimes be abused to lure drones out to more advantageous locations. Or just prevent, you know, hidden drones. It's just a shame that they're appearing on this level, which is basically, oops, all drones. Seriously. I think, it, I'm not even certain if there are non-drones on this level. I, I, you'd think there would be, but... I think it would be like turrets or something just to mix it up, but no. On the one hand, this actually, so in some uh, some ways, actually makes it easier because you only have to deal with a single type of threat. On the other hand, that single type of threat is the one that gives you no ammo when killed. So yeah, that's a slight problem. Sometimes it doesn't quite align. The I'm uh, I've only been through a couple interactions, and I'm of which I avoided even sh having to shoot any of the cameras and everything. So like half of the things I encountered, I haven't even sh needed to fire, and yet already I'm down to less than a single uh, full load. Is there a term for the, uh, a full cylinder? That's the, what I'm like, the term I'm looking for. Shit. That's probably not a big deal. I don't think there's any turn nearby, but... Fuck! Fuck! Damn it, it's like... Oh. oh, come on! You were completely looking the other way! What?! Hang on, I was out of your vision! What?! Oh, whatever. Yeah, I'm fairly certain there's no... Yeah, these, fort fortunately the cameras have a very short range. Astonishingly short. I don't even think they have like any actual communication with the drones. I think they just make a noise and the drones are programmed to respond to. I guess that's technically communication, but whatever. Oh, nice! Upside of being in a level with all the drones and shit. Ooh, is that good? If you have accepted that the threat is real, there is hope that you can hear insight too and awaken right. to your true nature. I believe it. Why not? Reality A transcends and overlaps realities right. B and C. This is how the threat has spread to all aspects of reality. Accepting that the threat is real in the world outside the game may seem difficult because through an inversion of values, the threat has led you to believe that reality C is more real 
than reality A. This is how it subverts your defenses and attacks you where you are vulnerable. To awaken, you have to accept that reality A expands beyond your life outside of the game. Open your mind's eye and you can see it. This luminous reality is where you have constructed the mind tech you need to defend yourself and combat the threat. Only the final insight remains. Once you accept it, you will hear a tone and you will awaken. Alright. I don't know what's all, what's all the evidence on hearing a tone, but alright. Yeah. Honestly, I can believe that there is some serious threat uh, fucking with our media and trying to kill our minds. Honestly, it seemed, frankly, almost too believable, <laughs> if that makes any sense. It really doesn't. <sighs> wow. Two tapes in just, like, fucking, like, Quarter of an a quarter of an hour. Maybe I am going to blaze through this even easier. God, hot damn! <laughs> I'm just that. I'm just too pro. I'm not even. I'm hardly even slowed down by this weapon's mechanics because I'm just too pro. I may not be the greatest YouTuber around, but when it comes to to lightning speed enlightenment, I'm here and nowhere else. Which is funny because, of course, I want other codes. Hang on. Uh, but yeah, it's funny because, of course, I've been, you know, my, my watchwords so far have been, you know, slow, careful. I guess it really is just like they say slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Now then, let me just decode this real quick. Right. That. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, oh, wait, I see. The title. The, t uh, the title is a different cipher. It is a different cipher than the, than the main. So you gotta, like, decipher that, then decipher the text with a, and with resetting the code word and everything. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. Here we go. The tr uh, let's see. True meaning of the world. By now, you already know about reality A and B, right? And being good little receivers, we want to protect ourselves in reality B. But I'm starting to suspect something. I think there is another layer to peel back here. And it's all about this crazy limbo world we are in now. Think eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. Maybe this place it ju isn't just a battleground. It has a purpose. What is reality C? Okay, I think I might have been supposed to find this before I got to this level, but I've been blazing through it too fast. But yeah, you're well aware of what we are well aware of what reality C is, but of course they couldn't possibly know. Well, they could technically. But they won't. Because they're not supposed to. Ah. Uh. I wasn't sure if the taser was disabled or not. I'm still not, actually. I'm still not sure if it was disabled. I'm pretty sure it's disabled now. Just remember fucking Lewis friendly the ice cast going, She's disabled, get her <laughs> Very poor choice of words. Ah, another one of those cameras. Can I get to it this time? So Yeah, okay. I am very loath to use any ammo on cameras. I don't absolutely have to. I am kind of nervous about it. Uh, of course, about being right below something that explodes into sparks, but I'm, f I'm like 99% certain that 
those sparks don't actually do any damage ever. Eh, there's gonna be another sleeping turret up here, isn't there? Or something. Oop. Clear. I don't actually know if this gun actually uh, will will kill you in one shot like the Desert Eagle. It's a pretty it's a pretty powerful gun comparable to the Desert Eagle. I think the Desert Eagle is stronger though. But don't quote me on that. But yeah, I don't, I've never actually shot myself with this, so I don't know if, if it would be survivable. Like I said before, you can survive like one shot with most guns, but. One shot from uh, in your leg from those from those guns, but not from the Desert Eagle. All right, so yeah, we got the first three, uh, two in like ten or fifteen minutes. How much want to bet the next, the last one is gonna take uh, an hour or two? Don't no, don't bother. It's a sucker's bet. Oh, fuck. Shit. I might need to shoot that. No, I shouldn't need to. See, this is perfectly good. Honestly, I think they go overboard on the cameras and not enough on the drones. Because the dro oh, cameras are obviously useless without the drones. They think there would be like a bunch of drones and one camera, but no, it's the opposite. Not more often than not. Or hotter than hot. Uh, in a lot of good ways. So if that drone doesn't come back while I'm doing this, I think he can probably see me here. Okay, good. Eat shit. Look at that. The sun is rising. Sunrise, a new dawn. The old me is finally gone. And I don't care where the lines have been drawn. No way. Here's your horizon, and I'm the rising sun. Odd the appropriate lyrics to that song, actually. I was just I was just singing it because. Well, inappropriate. For the record, if you're not sure what the song is, it's, uh, it's kind of, it's a bit obscure. It's called, uh, My Turn to Rise by Knight of Endale. Oh, it's just a camera. Honestly? This level is more annoying than actually difficult so far. I think I've just gotten too good at dealing with drones. You know? And a large part of dealing with drones is just not panicking. You know? Well, maybe you don't. 
But yeah, it's very easy for... Oops, shit. For you to lose your head when they're coming flying at you. But if you just stay calm and pop a shot off or start... Or, or start booking it. You can usually deal with them. Or at least I can. Maybe I'm just too pro. Alright, let's go blindly down this ladder. I'm sure this is a plan with neither flaw nor chance of error. close oh if you I'm accept there. that the that threat was... is real All right. and that reality a is the true reality then you are ready for the final insight we have sent you this message to warn and prepare you and you have listened in reality c you have sat in your chair at your computer what if i have a standing in reality desk a, your astral self has struggled and overcome many challenges. I think that's happened in both realities, Open actually. your mind's eye to see the mind tech you have built. They are heavy and intricate with each component perfectly formed and in its right place. Functional. Resilient. That's you me. You stand ready to use these tools against the threat. In order to awaken, you have to accept this final insight. These struggles in Reality A are real and have fully prepared you. Reality B has been this message. This message was a systemic process. This process was an initiation. You have completed this initiation. You are now a receiver. struggles and all that. And yeah, the game just sort of exits there. And yeah, through all the struggles and strife, I have built, uh, they have like guided me to building my own mind tech, to making my mind stronger, more resilient, to resist the threat and awaken into, re uh, into, the tr into reality A. Uh, Perhaps I am ready. Perhaps not. Perhaps I already finished truly becoming a receiver. The first time I beat this, that was certainly a magical experience. Well, what about you? You, the person watching this, in your own reality C, are you willing to take the dive? To put yourself out there into the world? of reality B, to build up your mind, your mind tech? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Like I said, this may be the finale, but this is not the final episode. I'm going to continue playing Receiver 2, continue getting better, getting stronger, finding more, and most importantly, having fun while doing it. Too many people seem to think that the pursuit of, of wisdom and enlightenment has to be miserable. That could not be farther from the truth. That is the voice of the threat. If you think you're ready, go and play this game for yourself. If not, or if you simply wish to do so, continue watching my playthrough of it, where I plumb the depth. I no longer have to worry so much about being extremely cautious. I've already completed the game. I certainly want to complete it a few more times to get that one achievement, but... That's no longer a priority. Now, it's simply finding new paths. Finding the limits of everything around me. But, until next time, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. 
and remember, as always, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Have you figured it out yet? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, sayonara, suckers.